<laughs> did you want to? Did you want to be doing that stuff? Did you project yourself into seeing yourself as an actress when you were very, very tiny? Well, it, the first time I saw myself, it was really strange. But um, I always, I enjoyed watching them, and I enjoyed watching the shows, and I, I always thought it would, what it would be when like. When was the first time you saw yourself? I think it was for a Johnson's Baby Shampoo commercial. And you remember looking at TV? I remember I felt really strange, because I couldn't, I understood what I did, because I knew that I worked a day. But I couldn't understand quite why I was... You were, what, two or three? Or one? Oh, no, I was. A, I think at my first commercial, I must have been about three or four. About three, three yeah. or four. So I was sitting with my mother, and I was watching myself, and it took me a while to realize. I asked her why I was there, and I could, it felt really funny watching myself because it was the first time that I'd seen myself. Is there, if you go all the way back to the beginning when you were three years old, like mm -hmm. that, did you ever have any sense of of uh, being nervous in front of the camera, or? Never. Never. Because I started so young. So young, right. So it's a and natural... It was always, I was always comfortable. How do you feel about cameras now when you get in front of a camera? You don't... It, I don't ever think about them. You know, they're just there and they... I never get worried about them. Nothing, I never, nothing never, at all. Because I think it was because I started so young. It's a second nature. You start, yes, I started with the still cameras. And then from movies. But even that transition wasn't... Wasn't all scary. It was even more exciting. People... People can't figure... Out. I mean, I've known you since you were about 10 years ten. old. <laughs> I've known you almost half your life. But people, people can't figure out why you have what they perceive as this uncanny ability to project yourself as being older than you are. Well, how would you explain that to them? I mean, you do that. I mean, the Vogue things all... all. Well, I think that um, I never try to be older. When, when I work for Vogue or in any of the magazines, I, you look older. And I think whenever you put makeup on any teenager, they look older. Do you feel differently? Like, do you feel different when the makeup goes on, when you put it on? Do, it's, do you, yeah, you, so you put it on and then, and sometimes they play music. And then you get into a whole, you change your personality in a way. And it becomes just a big game. It's like dress up. Because when I was younger, I'd wear my mother's clothes and makeup. Yeah. And then this is just for real, you know. And, and yet, the minute you take it off, then you're just... I'm just 15 again, but so it's fun. What's what's the difference between the Brooke who you know goes to school wearing no makeup, right, and the Brooke who is in Vogue magazine? In your inside you, not forget about what people project. We can you know talk about that later. But inside you, is there a, a, a real difference? Do you, do you feel much different? Well, you feel much different, but you know, I know I'm feeling much different. I know that I'm, what I'm is it playing that you, a game. It's a game. It is a game. It's and always been fun. a game, right? It's always been. It has to be a game. Yeah. I don't think it can, it, it shouldn't be any more than a game or work or anything. Well, it might be a job that you feel strongly about doing, but you've got to have fun doing the job. So it's rooted in, to really try to understand it, as I think I do, mm -hmm. it is rooted in the fact that this is second nature to you. Mm -hmm. It's something you've done since you were a tiny child, and your mother probably started off with you playing it like a game. Right, fun. because I wouldn't, I don't think that I would wear the amount of makeup and wear the, the clothing and go out, because that wouldn't be me. I wouldn't you don't wear do that, that on your own. Right, but right. that's just. That's the excitement about because you get to go into that. Well, how, how do you respond now to the fact that even going back when you were in Pretty Baby, when you were, what, 10 or 11 years old? 11. 11 years old. 11. 10, one of the two. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty close. Yeah. Kind of, that now all of this is added up into now that you were perceived and have been for the last couple of years mm -hmm. as a sex symbol. How, how do you relate a, to that? That's another one of the things that I don't even think about it. See, when people say that to me, They'll say, they'll say what you just said, and I don't even think that I am. I know that so that's you don't think that. That's the weird part. And then if they, if say, I am looked upon like that, then that's just another part of, you know, quote the game, because then it's just, again, that's not really me. But people look at, put, look at me and see that. Mm -hmm. the, but all of this has also added up into a, a very impressive career. And Peter Fonda told me that mm. he thinks you, are, you have the greatest natural ability in front of a camera he's ever seen. And this is a person who's grown up in Hollywood, and you've gotten some excellent reviews. Uh, what, what do you see for yourself? Do you really want to go all the way? I mean, do I you really, really have do. a great... Guess what? I really... Because, see, and I think right now I'm, I'm getting older and I'm realizing. I, yeah. When I was doing... This is my... I'm working on my eighth movie. Yeah. And so now I'm really... I was serious before and I did my best, but I was just doing pictures and I was doing them, but I never really thought seriously about continuing. I, I didn't want to stop what I was doing, but now I'm really seriously... I want to just get better and better. So if you had to state your goals, 
Mm -hmm. Now, I, most people will say to a teenager, 15 year old, what do you want to do when you grow up, right? I want to survive to 16. <laughs> survive to 16. <laughs> 15 right? part of what a sweet 16 <laughs> party you're going to have. Right. But if you had to define goals, do you have professional career goals at this point that are you know, specific hard. things? Yeah. I think it's just become. I want to be. I want to be looked at as just a really good actress, and you have to. You have to work at it really yeah. hard. In a way, I you recognize be, your beauty can get in the way of being perceived as a really. A lot of it's, it's hard, you know, to say that. But a lot of people they look at the the outside, yeah. and so that's why I would like. I want to give, get the chance to show. Performance. Mm -hmm. like why? Work at it. What? How have you reacted to the? outrage in some circles over the Calvin <laughs> Klein's jeans commercials. I tell you, it's so funny because I didn't even I didn't even know what a big thing it was until um, Christina Farrar, she came up to me one day and she said, so what do you think about it all? And I, I just clicked down because I didn't I didn't think it was such a big thing. And then, um, so it was all going on, it was going on behind me and I didn't even pay attention to it. And then when it was brought to my attention, I just I thought it was silly. I think what was the one that they took one off the air? What, what was the line? I don't even know. I think it was. Um, you know what comes, comes between, between me, me and my. And my I think it was no, nothing comes between me and my Calvin. Yeah. And it, you don't even. You wonder what where the the minds are. The people that are saying the things. I, I, do you feel at all threatened by the the twelve year old and the ten year old models coming up behind you? <laughs> you know, my mom has always said, you know that. So you, somebody always comes comes yeah. after you. I'm really ha I mean, you you have a wonderful career, so I'm half joking. But it is interesting to project that you're really the first of now a new whole new crop and a whole new wave of, of young mm -hmm. girls. I think that's neat because I want I want these other kids to have as much fun that I did. You don't feel I, that I, your childhood has been lost. No, I'm still going through it. <laughs> but see, this, but people want to think that, don't they? They want to think, well, she's done this, she's done eight movies. But you have a childhood. I mean, they, they forget that I started so young, so that even though first you get an allowance. Well, see, my mom, um, she gives me some, you know, ten dollars a week. An allowance. So you do, That's you actually allowance. do have an allowance. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do too much in my room. I <laughs> just try to keep it neat. <laughs> you, you, I would think that you basically, you've always impressed me as being an organized person. Extremely. I'm very. Very neat. Not yeah. necessarily like I'm very methodical on everything. Everything is. All we've always seen. I'm exactly the opposite. I'm, really? Yeah. I'm just never been neat. Never I been get neat. so like my my handbag and my purse. Everything's in one single place. Like my mom though, she's got everything mixed up. Her bag <laughs> gets me. I can't look at her bag. Like I get the, so. To the opposite. Uh -huh. the opposite of that. So the non-working book gets an allowance, right? Yes. What about the what about your school friends? I guess it's obvious that, and I'm sure you know people ask you this a lot. Is it has it been difficult to retain normal relationships with kids who, at an age when it's difficult enough to get get along well with everybody, and when people are saying, oh, when you know, if you walk down and look the wrong way in a high school card, or like when I was in high school, they would say that I was conceited because yeah. I didn't see somebody. Uh -huh. Now here you are in eight films and so forth. Has it been difficult to to maintain a normal relationship with your schoolmates? Not not at all. It really hasn't because I went to a school um, for the first year, and that was difficult. But it wasn't difficult at all because I had made any movies. It was just simply difficult on a regular basis. Kids already have clicks, clicks and I was new as the new girl and you're treated differently. But now I've got some of the closest friends and I know I'll have for a very long time. That's right. And it's so weird because I'm with them and they couldn't care less, you know, who, what... Well, you give them you know, that to them. You don't use no. it. You don't do an attitude on them. It's, you're intelligent enough to know that you don't, you don't have to, that you just really want to be... Yeah, you do I really wouldn't do that anyway, though. Out. It's so, it's definitely yeah. separate and it, and I'm having the best year with my friends. I'm just because I'm so into school and friends and everything. Well, what are you doing in school? What sort of things? Um, well, I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> I made it under the cheerleading squad. First, we were for football. What if you had been rejected? That would I know. Been worldwide news. In a way, I was. I was. It wouldn't have been as bad. I would have been upset, but I would have. You know, I would have been defeated well, the right way. We had so many other areas, but. But we had tryouts, and yeah. we were all equally as nervous, all equally as scared, and you just we just got out there and did our best, and then later we found out. You know? and all, has it been difficult for you to have? I mean, in, you know, at, at this point, for you to have a normal type social life with the guys? Do you find that guys in your grade are totally threatened by? Not, not only the fact that you are very beautiful, but the fact that you've been in movies, that they've been leading men and so forth like that, and they think, you know, every man in the world 
potentially is interested in you, how does that affect a little 10th grader? <laughs> well, I don't think, it happened, I think, in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Because it was just like, the guys didn't know how to act to me, and sometimes they couldn't say, it was almost like my first name without connecting the last name. Right. And it never, they didn't separate it. So, and then as the year went on, though, I sort of, I'd talk to them about it, you know, and I'd sort of... So you would see that they were a little intimidated. And I would get, I, yeah, and I wouldn't like it, so I would make sure that I would let them know that... So how did you learn how to do that? I mean, there are 35-year-old <laughs> women I know who don't have the ability to make a man feel comfortable like that. Now, why do you, how do you know how to do that? I don't know. I just... I, that's what I want, is somebody to feel comfortable, comfortable. with me. That's yeah. the main thing. That's a, Listen, if you don't have that, what do you really have? It, right, because who... And then if the person then likes you for that, for this image or whatever, then they're not really liking you, and you don't want that anyway. Is it hard when you go to do a movie... Uh, not to have a crush on the the boy or the or the leading man or the leading boy, whatever he is. I think usually I just I make sure that I have a good friendship with the friend because I think it always it helps. I don't think that there's ever a set set thing. Well, okay, here's a leading man. I'm now going to have a crush on him. It's never like that. Usually in the beginning, you know, you've both been told so much about each other and. Um, so your co-star is, you know, good looking, and so right. that's that's the fun part. But then, as the movie goes on, then you just really become good friends. What was it? What was it like doing the uh, the film on the island, being mm -hmm. on the island so so long with? But this, this is the same people. It never really got that bad, which was good. We never got on each other's It was Fiji, nerves. right? We did it, Blue Lagoon. Yes, and we were there for three months on this deserted island, and. You would think that we would have gone crazy, but we well, had. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, because with appealing. each other, though, it was so it was exciting. We, I got, I got very good friends, and I, it was just really fun because the people, we never really fought at all, and we never had there were never there was not what much What would you do intention. at night? I mean, th three months, and your your mom was there, right? Yeah, my mom was. And there. the director and the cast uh -huh. and the natives and so forth uh, who were helping and, and around. What would you do at night for three months? We never were, I was never bored. I was always busy doing something, making something, making necklaces, getting shells. <laughs> and by the time Typical we finished... Typical island work. And really, by the time we finished work, we'd finish it about seven, if, if we lost the light before mm -hmm. then, though. And then you're tired, you know, and you sleep so well, because you're just right on the water. Uh, that's good. Well, particularly we when you're working bored, that hard. Does, have you done anything that... Now, when you look back on it, because you were, you were younger, like with Pretty Baby, where you played a child in a house of prostitution, not a child prostitute, right? It was a child in a house of well, prostitution. She, I think she later, she later she later house. Now when you go look back on that, does any of it embarrass you? And like, if you're with your I friends, would... you went to the movies with your friends, would you feel? No, because it's all, it's all like a big, not a joke, but they it's just... It's still that game, isn't it's it? It's still, it always it gets, gets back, back to, to the that, game. which I think it works always, you know, and I don't even have to try anymore, you know? And I just don't, whenever I look back at something, I, f I have to be proud of whatever I did, because I accomplished something. I know that you really are working hard in school. I mean, on one level, people might say that, Bob, she's not. Why are you working so hard in school? You've got everything else going for you. Why are you going to be...